Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning, Calvary. Today, as the word of the day, we get to wrap up our series in the Psalms. And I get to share with you Psalm 150, the last Psalm. And I hope the series has blessed you. And we want to take you out on a high note. So just listen to this Psalm. The Psalmist says, praise the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in his mighty heavens. Praise him for his mighty deeds. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with trumpet sound. Praise him with a lute and a harp. Praise him with tambourine and dance. Praise him with strings and pipe. Praise him with sounding cymbals. Praise him with loud crashing cymbals. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So what do you think the key message is of Psalm 150? Praise the Lord. You, you can't read this and not get that, right? I mean, I know some people want to go, hey, did you notice the symbols? See, that's an argument for drums in church, all that kind of stuff. Like, I don't want to argue that stuff. But listen, uh, in church, praise the Lord. Outside of church, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord for the things he has done and for who he is. Praise him with every possible instrument. Even praise him with the dance. Uh, and I knew that before I watched Footloose. And look, with every single breath that God gives you, praise him. Just praise God. You have every reason to praise him and no reason to be silent. So if I can encourage you to be biblical today out of Psalm 150, it would be simply this. Today and every day that God gives you for the rest of your life, praise the Lord. Because we're going to spend eternity praising the Lord for who he is and for what he has done and for how he has loved us. I hope that blesses you and praise the Lord.